Hi, I'm Mark Waite and welcome back to Mark My Words. So, you want to get that next job and you're going for the interview, how do you guarantee you get the job? Up next are my tips on how to make sure that happens. I've had 11 years, most 11 years working for two of the major banks here in Australia and during that time I've employed numerous people and I've seen some really good prepared interviews and I've seen some really poorly prepared interviews. So here's just some random thoughts, right? When you're going into uh, interview for a position, uh, your dream job, the job that you've been looking for uh, that's going to advance your career that will give you more income so you can advance your life. So the first thing is make sure that you do your homework. By that I mean your employer, that business started somewhere someday. And make sure that you understand the history of the company that you're going to work for. I say you're going to work for because your expectation when you're in the interview is that you're going to get this job. You will get this job. It's not a case of, you know, even if there's 10 other candidates, 20 other candidates for the position, it doesn't matter. You're going in there with the mindset that you will get this job. And how you will get the job is by identifying what the key objective of that business is. What is the name of the game of that business? What is their niche market, who are they selling to, who are they providing a service to, and how does that business enhance their customers' lives? So they're the key questions you need to know before you even go in the interview, so you can speak to that to the interviewer when you're in there. So what is it the company's history? What are their, what's their customer base? What are the products they sell to enhance the customer's lives? And how then can you add value to that objective? So it's not about you going in there and wanting the job because you need job security and you want, you've got some commitments and it's all about you. You know what, your employer at this stage of the relationship doesn't care much about you. Your employer does care though, how can you add value to their vision, to their goals, to their objectives, their financial objectives, their customer satisfaction objectives, their retention, their team culture objectives. How can you add value to those things? And you need to do that homework before you even go into the interview to make sure that you're speaking to those questions that the employer has it's not about your CV even. It's not even about your qualifications. It's not about your university degree or lack of it. It's not even about um, your experience and how many jobs you've had in the past. None of that matters as much to your employer or potential employer as much as how can you, with your skill set, add value to their objectives. If you have that frame of mind when you go into the interview and you can speak to it, you become a very attractive option for your employer because they now see how you can add value to their objective. It's all about their objective and how you can genuinely add value to it. It's not about you, it's about them. So somehow in your mindset, you must understand that what it is that you can offer their business in terms of value add, your skill set, what can you bring to the table that will cause that business to prosper even more. By that I mean, how can you add value to their culture? How can you add value to their objective? How can you add value to their financial bottom line? Because believe it or not, businesses are in business to make money. You need to understand that. It's not about they're not just there to employ people because they're, they've got some kind of random mandate to employ people. They are there to make money. So you, you've got to be thinking, how can you add value to that objective before you even go into the interview? You know, what, what are you going to do to make that happen? How will you make that happen? What 
what skill set do you bring to the table that can specifically make that business go from here to here? You had that mindset and speak to that in the interview with your employer with eye contact. When you communicate with your employer, contact eye to eye. You know, because ultimately your communication comes more than just the words you say. It's eye contact. With, with eye contact, you actually are communicating that you're a confident person and there's nothing to hide. And so your employer doesn't have this sense of, oh, they can't look me in the eye. What have they got to hide? You want to eliminate as many, as many of the negative questions about you as you can authentically in the interview. And one of the best ways you can do that is to give eye contact. When you first walk into the interview, make sure you introduce yourself appropriately. And for if you're a guy introducing yourself to another guy, then a firm handshake is appropriate. You know, if you're a girl, female, introducing yourself to a male or vice versa, then you may or may not extend a handshake. That's up to you. But the reality of it is, how you the, your first impressions last the longest. So first, that first five, five, I would say five seconds of the connection will set the tone for how the rest of the interview goes. So make sure that you understand that your first impressions last the longest. You connect with that employer with eye contact and a firm handshake if it's appropriate. And you answer questions that are on their mind about their business, not on your mind about their business. So it's understand that if you get if you get the focus right and your heart right and your attitude right about adding value to that business and to that employer, that will come out more so in the tone of your voice than it will come out in the words you say. And in all communication, you know, it's only a small percentage of the words you say, a bit higher percentage is the tone of your voice and a higher percentage even again of all communication is your body language. So it's your body language that communicates the loudest. How can you genuinely add value to that company? Have you done your homework? Have you understood what the name of the game is for that business and how you can add value to the name of the game for that business? Hope that helps. See you on the next video.